Hey guys, so this is Chris, also known as Chris Daryl, here with MCPilotDan.com YouTube channel. Alright, that was a bad intro, but who cares? Um, <laughs> so today's video is on precious stones. Um, PS stones is what you're probably familiar with, but I'm going to be talking about them today for you guys because I know some people don't know what they are, and I'm going to clarify on that. So, the first thing, uh, what they are and where you can find them and who they're for. So, you can find them in many places. We'll start off by going to the admin shop. If you don't know how to get to the admin shop, just do warp shop and you'll get right here. The spawn on the corner, all you have to do is move to the other corner of the shop and you will see uh, the precious stone store for trusted and above only so default don't have access to these sadly but um there's a reason behind that obviously so let's get into who can use these first precious stones and what they're for so these are these uh, five precious stones are for trusted only I mean trusted uh, can use these and so can super trusted but these are the only blocks that trusted can use my bad so the first one is the creature repeller. Um, this is a web block. Pretty much, you put it in your house, and it will keep creatures out from getting into your house. Like you have all those annoying creepers that come in and blow your stuff up, and you don't like that. So pop one of these in if you're trusted or above, and those creatures will leave you alone. All right, next is the mycelium block, which goes for a thousand bucks, and it's a smaller version of a city protection block. It's thirty by thirty by fifteen. Um, so the diamond block is a large city protection, as you can see over here, this is a smaller version, so it'll protect your house from getting griefed or fires or TNT or whatever, I don't even think TNT is allowed on here, but anything like that, even if a creeper gets in, if you don't have a creature repeller and it tries to blow up, nothing will happen, so that's good. Um, next one is a peacekeeper which disables PvP in a small area. That's a gold block, so you place that down in your house and nobody will be able to fight or anything like that or you won't be able to die uh, from other players. Next is the city protection, which is just a really large space where you can protect your area. Now, you could watch Tax video on how to configure it to make it whatever size you want. That was a good tutorial. Check that out. This is a diamond block that sells for 9000 so it's sort of expensive, but it's worth it if you don't want to get griefed. Next is an entry bouncer. Pretty much what this does is you place it down, and if you don't want anybody coming into your house, this will push them out. It's a lapis block that you could find from mining lapis and then putting the blocks together, putting the items together. Diamond block, you know, you get diamonds, you put them in a 3x3 three three square in the crafting uh, table. Gold block, same exact thing except with gold ingots. Mycelium, you could find in a mushroom biome, or you could just buy it right here. And a web, you could probably find it in a mine um, underground. Or, yeah, abandoned uh, mine shaft. Next up, these are the ones that the super trusted can use, and the donors can use, and the mods, and the admins, and whoever else above trusted. We're going to have to go through all of these. So first up is the Arrow of Atlantis. That's lapis ore. You can get from mining lapis with a silk touch pickaxe. Pretty much what it does is it makes it so that you can breathe underwater. It gives you extra amounts of air. Godstone is the most expensive thing on here, selling for $30,000. It is a mushroom block you can find in a mushroom biome. And it repairs all of your items for you. Now that's what an anvil does, but an anvil takes XP. This doesn't. It'll repair your armor, I believe your bows, and um, your tools, so that helps. Um, the Sky Cannon is coal ore. Again, you would mine it with a silk touch pickaxe, or you can just buy it right here. And pretty much what happens is somebody steps on it, and it sends them flying. Same exact thing here with the Iron Ore. I believe the Iron Ore launches higher. It's, I think the coal ore launches higher. My bad. I can't quite remember. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you can get that from mining with Silk Touch. Um, the shocker is Silverfish Stone, which is hard to obtain outside of this shop. So you might as well buy it here cheap, 200 bucks. What happens is somebody steps on it and a lightning bolt comes down and knocks them 
dead. Almost. I don't know. It's really good for, like, warning somebody to get out of your house. It's a cooler way of a, um, uh, whatever it's called. I forget. The entry bouncer. Instead of pushing people all the way, it'll electrocute them. All right. Jack o' death. This is a popular one. This keeps people out of their house by killing them when they get too close. It's just a jack-o'-lantern with a... Or, it's just a pumpkin with a torch in it to make the jack-o'-lantern. That's it. Now you have the jack-o'-life. Uh-oh. I heard a creeper. <laughs> now here's the jack-o'-life, which is just a melon. And you place it down, and it will kill whoever you want by doing slash PS space allow space whoever. Type the name of a person. Now, it does say down here that there's a problem with it, and Dan's trying to fix it. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but you'll have to see for yourself. Um, next up is the Grief Revert, which is redstone ore, which you can mine using Silk Touch. And this reverts any griefs that go on in your house or go on in any area. <clears throat> next up is the Proximity Snitch, which is a note block, which you can make yourself um, using by crafting. And what this does is it will let you know what's going on in an area um, while you're not around. So, for example, if you want, it's sort of like an alarm system. If you're not at your house and you have one of these set up, you can see if somebody's trying to get into the door or if someone is using something or anything like that. So that's sort of neat, too. Um, it does fill up your chat but it's very useful. It's a tiny bit expensive, but it's fine. All right, now these are what Super Trusted and Above can use, and that's only what the Trusted can use, Trusted Above can use over there, but donors can use every single one of these. Now, you're like, well, why would I want to become a donor? And donor, donors um, are very cool. What they can do is, the things that donors can do is uh, make, you could fly, you can use Fusro Da, you know the Skyrim shouts. Most people can only use Fusro, but other people can use, but donors can use Fusro Da, which is the higher version of it, but I can't use it right now. Um, stronger version of it. They could use all the precious stones, and every time that you pay five dollars to Dan's server, he pays you five hundred thousand dollars on the server. So if you donate ten dollars, which is the minimum amount to become a donor he will pay you a million dollars in game which is pretty awesome and you could become one of those rich kids in the game that everybody wishes to be so that's that about the donors next up the conflicts that could happen within these blocks mainly just city protection and the smaller one the mycelium blocks looks like we have dread here trying to buy some creature repellers i think either that or mycelium um anyways so some of the conflicts that you can get from the city protection blocks is that you might interfere with somebody else's house, which isn't good because then you can't have your own protected area, which is why I believe uh, we have the tutorial that TAC gave that shows how to configure it to only your house size. Um, so yeah, same thing goes with mycelium block. Which is also, it also proves a point that you kind of want to build your house away from others just to prevent griefing altogether. Um, same thing goes with the spawn and some other regions in all of the worlds, such as the trusted world spawn, the new world spawn, all of that. Those are all protected. You can't build there. You can't place any city protections near there because they might interfere with those um, protected regions as well. So I believe I got my, my point across um, with how to use city protections, where you could find them, who could use them. Um, and yeah, if you aren't trusted and you want to become trusted, simply all that you have to do is play on the server for a little while, be nice, follow the rules, make sure you sign up and register on the website, show us you're good and you're worthy to become trusted, and we will promote you. So it's simple as that. Um, don't grief. Don't do any of that stupid stuff that's obviously against the rules. But, um, yeah, that's it on Precious Stones. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Have a great rest of your day.